Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create the dry light effects inside of Affinity Studio. Right? So, if you're not subscribed, now is the right time to subscribe. And without having to say much, let's get started. So, I have the image of my subject here. You can get this to practice along in the description of this video. So, check the description of this video where you can get a link to download these images that I used. Right, so I'm going to start off here. This is my image inside here. So as you can see, I'm working inside of the Pixel Studio, right? This is a Pixel Studio. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go and um, go to adjustment and I'm going to select the curves. Now over here, I'm just going to do one simple thing. I'm just going to break this here like this. And I'm doing this just to um, throw in some lights where I have the highlights. So I'm just going to bump this up like this and I'm going to take this one slightly inside to darken the areas just to add more contrast to this image, right? So when I'm done, I'm just going to click X like this. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to adjustment again and I'm going to select recolor. So under recolor, I'm going to select this first color, which is the red, right? So I'm going to click like this i have this color here so but then i'm going to make sure it's on one part of this image so you can use your ruler to activate the ruler ctrl r right so i'm just going to bring it on this part here dividing the image because i want it to be on one side just this side alone so i'm going to create a mask like this on the recolor like this and i'm going to select my brush a pen brush like this and i'm just going to erase those areas where i don't want this effect to be Right, this is the settings for my brush, so you can copy the settings. So I'm just going to, you can make your brush bigger to cover more spaces. So I'm just going to remove from these areas like this, like this, like this, like this. And we're good to go. Right, so I have this, I'm just going to hide this like this. Next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over to adjustment again, recolor. But this time I'm going to be using a blue right somewhere around here is fine so this is where i am saturation is set to 100 please for both colors right so you can make this either lighter or darker i'm going to leave mine like this and um click out and i'm going to mask this and uh with this i'm going to invert the mask right inverting the mask i can turn this on come here and um, with my brush selected make sure you flip this to white just interchange this and i'm just going to paint on these areas like this like this and as you can see i have my light effect so i can get rid of this and push it aside right so this is the easiest way to get your dual light effect to make it more realistic i'm going to change this uh, I'm going to change it to color. Also change um, this one here to, to color. So both of them you'd change to color like this and easy peasy. You have your dry light effect. So the good thing about it is that you can actually come back here and you can actually change the color to whatever color you want and you can get the best out of what you are creating. Right? So I'm just going to use a second image to illustrate this further. So I'm going to be using the unconstrained here like this and I'm just going to crop this. I just need the facial parts and um, click enter like this when I'm done. Right, so control zero to zoom in and everything to see everything clear. So the first thing I'm going to do here, if I have a colored image, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on adjustment and I'm going to click on which is hell right and i'm going to drop the saturation here that's the first thing right i'm going to click out i'm going to go over to the curves adjustment right select the curve and i'm going to repeat the same thing i did for the other image but this time i'm just going to drop this here and also drop this here also right so i'm just going to move closer here till i have something like this and when i'm good with this i'm going to start with adjustment i'm going to click on recolor and um, of course i can start this one with the red color so when i start here 
I'm going to mask this, right? And I'm going to remove the areas I don't want. So I'm just going to click on the brush, pen brush, and um, of course, remove these areas like this and like this. Easy peasy. All right. So remove these areas like this. And um, I'm going to hide this. I'm going to go to adjustment again, recolor. And this time I'm going to be using a different color, right? Which is the blue. And I'm going to mask this out like this. And I'm simply going to remove this part here because this is where I have the red colors. And um, when I'm done, I can turn this on to see the effect that I've created. Then of course, I'm going to change this the blend mode to color like this change the blend mode here to color just like this so this is how you can create the dual light effects inside of affinity i'll see you in the next video ciao